They make their way into that top corner. Looks like Holly Binns to me that's got the advantage of that Cooper Russian starting to work his way through the pack and they come to the complete with Holly Binns. <laughs> Revving up then, 
away we go, the old getaway, well done, he's made a good start, Tom Marvel's well done, Tom Marvel's has gained it, well done, he's on the inside line, well done, he goes through, Tom Marvel's gone completely up the track there, and he joins the race at the front, as I saw that one, but action continues at the moment, they got the back straight for the first time, it's Marvel who leads it, from Bradley holding that second place position, Hiddle is in third place, they come to complete uh, the opening lap, then it's Marvel who leads it, Going up the back straight, Bradley almost got inside. Marvel, Marvel again pulls away, going up the back straight. Rob Bradley trying to get back inside, but Marvel takes the line that he was looking for. Going into the pitch corner once again, Marvel's gone wide, and Bradley trying to get through on the inside line. Of him. Marvel leads it, and Bradley in second. Lloyd is in third place. The message is in fourth. Bradley again almost inside. Marvel gets inside. Marvel this time, and Lee's going up the back straight for the final time. It's Bradley leads into that pitch corner on the last lap. But Marvel holding second place. Lloyd is in third. Bradley's gone wide right again. Bradley gets it. Marvel is in second. Lloyd is in third. The message in fourth. Adams in fifth place. Increases, leaves slightly overworn. Whitaker can't 
inside Roberts, he went too wide on the exit, but that pitch corner, but Roberts still leads then. The ward in second, with the that second place, making a move round the edge to Ward, that far side, but made a mistake there, somebody else has lost the steel shoe on the track this time, as Roberts leads him off the last bunch of the deal at the time, he's got there, yes, Ward to go through in the second place, Robert leads him, Whittaker in second, Ward is in third, Luke Tuck seems to be slowing up while holding that fourth place, he's got problems, so that's the left, he's trying to find the first to reach the four, Whitaker now really motoring after Roberts coming in the pit corner for the final time. Roberts riding mid track. Whitaker comes round to the right for Andrew Whitaker. Brilliant ride right for Andrew Whitaker. Comes through from third to first. He wins it. Roberts in second. Ward is in third. <laughs> Followed by number 95, Jordan Noel. And then Luke Tuck, number 89. An entry in this one, Thomas Newton, Kieran Hicks, Will Offen and George Penfold. This should be a cracking heat of uh, sidecar action. Trevor Tyrrell Electrical are the sponsors. Away we go then, Kieran Hicks has made a good start. Thomas Newton trying to get out with him to in third place. One with Kieran Hicks has the balance, somebody's on his shoulder coming down that far side. Newton is in third place and it's a Off and all to second place, Newton's in third, but Pet Ford in four new, trying to make inroads into that second place, it will often, this Kieran Hicks is getting away the front, and Hicks leads it, but often it's second. Now he comes in back for the inside, running back alongside Offen now. Super move built to by Newton, he's got from the inside of Offen. Offen again back round the outside to retake second place. This is super stop between these two as Hicks is getting away at the front then Hicks leads him on the last lap. But Offen holds it. Tries to wind it again on that corner, now cuts it back inside off and again with the bike between them, coming into that top corner for the final time. Hicks is away at the front, the action's on for second and third, and Newton's going to move through on the inside this time, but often just about covering that move. It's all on for second place, it's in it. Newton is in third, super action for second and third there. we got George Penfold in fourth, and Joe Martin in fifth place, so that was super stuff. So four crews are ready then for action, up for the tanks, away they go then. And Clint Dundell, I think, has made a cracking start on the inside, and he's Colin Blackmore's already tucked himself into second place position. We'll pick them as they come by us for the first time. It is a Mike Austin, not the best of stars, but already worked his way through in the third place. As Blondell leads him, Blackburn trying to find his way through on the inside line, but Blondell has got the speed at the moment. Blackburn again trying to come through on the inside. They race into this top corner once again. There's a gap on the inside. Can Colin Blackburn get through? As Blondell leads him, the Blackburn off in second. Austin in third. Joe Mark is in fourth place. Two bikes between first and second. Again, Colin Blackburn looking for that line through on the inside. But still, Blondell's carrying a little bit too much speed at the moment. Two bikes between them now as he lost that flag comes out. Colin Blackburn turns very quickly that time. Can he get on the inside? And he almost gone through. Blondell again back round the outside to retake the lead. But Blackburn chasing hard in second away. Now Blackburn has fooled him by going round the outside, but he's been pushed wide there by Blondell, wider and wider. Colin Blackburn totally committed to the outside run. Can he sweep round the outside and race for the line? Colin Blackburn does it. Brilliant ride there by Colin Blackburn. He gets the winning ride. Clint Blondell in second, Mike Austin in third, Joe Mogg in fourth. Superb last lap there by Colin Blackburn. Tried the inside for three laps from the last lap. Here we go then, Q and Hicks making the start, Firmerola's gone with him, Mike Austin, third away of three, 
Matthew Six on the inside, Fumarola trying to come around the outside, coming in to this top corner for the first time. It's going wide to cover Fumarola. Fumarola on the inside. Again, almost inside it, just a bike between them as they go on that far side for the second time. Hicks is leaving that gap on the inside. Fumarola trying to get through that gap, but Hicks is carrying tremendous speed around the outside. But Fumarola very tight on the inside. Hicks again, around the outside. Fumarola comes again, again. Hicks again back around the outside. Fumarola again comes again back on the inside. They're absolutely locked together. Fumarola gets through this time and hits the front. Hicks trying to come right back around the outside. Hicks does come around the outside. They're absolutely locked together. The film roll on the inside, hits round the outside, so shoulder to shoulder. Film roll on the inside, hits again, has gone back round the outside. Film roll that comes again back up the inside, hits again, totally committed to the outside line. He's a bite in on Film now as they go over that far side once again. Film roll on the inside, hits round the outside. Get a long way clear of Mike Austin back in third as the jacket flag comes out. Film roll the wins it. Hits again in second place, Mike Austin in third, and the crappy lead inside go action. Determine the Masters qualifiers for 2022. North Cornwall Volkswagen are the sponsors. Delete as a number 19. Revving up on the line, away we go, Kieran Hicks has made a good start and it's Matt Fumarola has gone with himself as he's away in third place. Joe Mogg left on the line and it's Kieran Hicks leads and it's back straight for the first time. Fumarola trying to find a way from the inside. Hicks is taking him on the right line and it's Hicks who leads it to Fumarola in second. He's out just on the third. Mark is in fourth place. Are we starting to spread? And this is the last qualifying heat for the thousand sidecars. It's Kieran Hicks and Kieran Ivey building the lead there on Matt Fumarola. Andy Wilson have got the second place position. Sales is in third. Oh, it's going to be closing there. Going up this corner once again. It's visibly closing the gap now. There's two bikes between them. And they race over that far side of the track. It's the film roller trying to get through on the inside. Film roller gets through on the inside. Hicks again back round the outside. They're locked together for first and second places. Hicks round the outside. Film roller on the inside. Film roller gets through. Hicks again. Hicks back on the inside. Fumarola comes again back up the inside, Hicks again trying to get back round the outside, but Fumarola covers that move, Hicks again totally committed to the outside line, they're locked up to him, shoulder to shoulder for first and second places, Fumarola on the inside, Hicks round the outside, still there together, coming out of that final corner, second flat out, Fumarola I think, but Hicks in second, and Anthony Sales in third place, cracking last lap and a half there between uh, Kieran Hicks and uh, Matt Fumarola. Right, the ride is coming out, Aaron Butcher, of course, his highest score against first pick of gates. His speed over on that far side has been absolutely phenomenal in his last three or four outings. Luke Harris, the next one to come out, and Aaron Butcher goes about almost halfway in the, to the middle of the grid. Luke Harris decides to go nearer to the outside. Paul Cooper has the next pick. Paul comes inside Aaron Butcher. Jason Prynne comes inside Paul Cooper. Jack Roberts. So there's no, obviously, Andrew Whitaker's not coming out for this final. So Jack Roberts is the next one to choose. He's going towards the outside. Gareth Hickmott goes inside Luke Harris. And Luke Tuck will be on the outside. So no. Andrew Whitaker for this solo final for the Clubman's Championship. Revving up on the line. Off from the stage, so where we go? We're looking for Cooperman to make the start. Cooperman. Aaron Bunch has gone away from him. Jack Roberts has got the third place position. Cooper leads down that back straight. We're looking for the speed of Butcher going around that outside line. And Butcher leads into that top corner on lap number one for the speed of Butcher again on the exit. Cooper is in second place. Jack Roberts is hanging on to third. The Butcher's got the race. Now gets inside Robertson goes for the third place as Butcher is the clear leader but Cooper holding 
second place. Harrison in third, look at Prim coming round the outside. The three of us for third place. Harris still stays deep in the base, he's really quick playing the outside, comes alongside Harris, Harris comes again back on the inside, Prim again sweeps back around the outside, Onto to Paul goes butcher the leader for Cooper, holding second place position, Cooper holding second place position, Harris is back inside Prim, Prim again sweeps back around the outside, 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 Prim again Second place is Paul Cooper. Jacob Prince wide again. The chance for Harris to come back and race for the line. Prince gets third. Harris is in four. Robert in five. Pitt Martin is in sixth place. What a superb. And where, oh where Aaron Butcher gets that speed from, round that outside over there is absolutely unbelievable. Sidecar, 1000cc sidecar final sponsored by Brooklyn Aggregate for the Clubman's Championship. 25, Colin Blackburn, Carl Pugh. 9, Robbie and George Simmons. 24, Terry Saunders, Liam Brown. 78, Kieran X, Kieran Ivey. Number 10, Flint Blondell, Jordan Smith. Some sort of normality over in that starting area for this final of the sidecars. <laughs> Revving up. Away we go then, who's going to get going? Miles Simmons, Bobby Simmons got away in from the inside in second place, but Terry Shaw's the lead. Colin Blackmore trying to get through on the inside, but Terry Shaw is moving on the outside, on the inside, the inside, on 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 the inside, Blackburn is in third place, Simmons is in fourth, while Gullard is in five, Hicks surprisingly back in six, they come along this far side of the track once again then, it's Matt Primo over the lead, and then Terry Shaw is holding that second place, Colin Blackburn is up to third place. Ed Simmons has gone inside Blackboard and moved through in the third place. Can Blackboard get back there on the outside? On, only dropping the one point going into this final. Colin Blackboard finds himself in fourth place. He's gone. Oh, he's got back inside Robbie Simmons. And really, 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 really hard indeed. Blackburn has got the third, Robbie Simmons coming back and Colin Blackburn they over that far side once again. It's Boomerow, the lowest point scorer going into this final, leads his final with a checkered flag being made ready. That Boomerow that wins it. Terry Shorten it, Colin Blackburn locks it up right in front of Robbie Simmons. Colin Blackburn gets third, Robbie Simmons loses George off the back. That was, that was rather hectic there on lap three and four. Trying to get one of the outfits started now before coming into line. Good to see you for the of sex for this first heat on the Second place of heat lead and problem for number 27 pulling out already as they go up the back straight for the first time. Then it's heat the lead and Penfold's gone through into the second place position. They two by between them, they come to complete that number one. Then heat the lead and Penfold is second. One, two, four. Is the third place. Danny Hill has the third. Heat on the inside. Well, Penfold trying to find a line round the outside. Going up that back straight once again, just a bite between these left-handers. Into the top corner they go, Heath on the inside, Penfold seems to have the speed and drive round the outside. He's coming on, trying to get back number two then. Heath the leader, but Penfold holding second. Third place, that's the old again, going up the back straight once again. And slowly but surely, he's starting to pull away the front Penfold, trying to close the gap there. As they go in that top corner once again, that's where Penfold gets very close to the race. Lid. He's looking for line to on the inside, but he's blocking that move. On the last pass this time then, will the speed of Penfold get him round the outside? Penfold again winds it on on the exit from that corner, but he's again with the time to line, pulls away going up the back straight in the pits corner on lap number no four. It's he to lead and Penfold in second. Hill has got me third place. No one ever will Penfold. He's getting me winning by. 
Then for his second, Hilton in third, Solomon in fourth, with the first thing that will be qualified. The main event with 24 has gone through into second place position. That's Mark Woods in second place. William Lee's in from Woods in second place. Rob Bradley's coming in now to go through in the third place. That's the top three into that pitch corner for the first time. Then William Lee's in from Woods in second. Bradley's in third. Bradley making a move. Bradley's going through in second place. Bradley's in second place. In third, 65 has now gone through into fourth place. That's Mark Hedling who's gone through into fourth, and these four are getting away at the front then. But it's still Woods who has the advantage from Bradley. Gwyneth who has the advantage from Bradley in second. Woods is in third place. Trying to get back to it, Willem, as they go up the back straight once again. Just a bike between them. Woods right in mid-track. Willem right in mid-track. Bradley doesn't quite know where to go, whether to go inside, whether to go outside. Woods is still there. Hadley is in full Bradley again. Trying to go around the outside, but again, Willem rides him wide. And on to that ball this time then. Willem the leader from Bradley in second. Woods in third. Broaders is in five. Bradley's alongside Willem again, but Willem comes again to lead into the pitch corner for the final time. What will Bradley try? He's winding it on right round the edge. Willem, Willem pushed him even wider. A race for the line. Willem gets it. Bradley in second. Woods in third. Headling is in fourth. Broaders is in five. Followed by 11, 37, number 8, and 57. 6, 7. 24, 55, 58, 11, 37, 8, and 57, 67, all of you. Next race, Chris Dill is number 76, and the interest here, number 72, Jake Morton goes on his first time on the Malford on his shoulder going up the back straight for the first time. Less than a bite between these two up that back straight once again. Still on the inside. Malford round the outside. And young Jake, can he throw this GT round like he does the 500? Oh! Magnificent ride there to get round Jake Mulford because Jake came down, he then got away from the bike and 758 who was extremely close there as Mark Chessel did really, really well. Jack, 72 Jake Morford excluded as the primary cause of the stoppage but what a great job done by Mark Castle there because Back again round the outside to lead up the back straight for the first time. Beck leads it from Scoops in second place. Lester Denham is in fourth place. Up to top four as they go into that pitch corner once again. Back for the speed round the outside. Gone really well. in five, up to top five as they go up the back straight once again, it's back by a bike then from Scoops in second, Ian Clark taking closer order in third, these three getting away from Denham, having a good ride in fourth, Bradford Collins on in, which is in number five, that's 
That's the four guns they got in the back straight for the first time then. It's Shipley who's still in the mark the front. It's John Cox doing the chase in there in second play. Lodge in third. Baker is in four. We look at him. Mr. One in Sergeant third, Baker four, Smith is in five, Snow is in six, up to six, Cox one in two, on the ends of Shipley, but Shipley again pulls away going up that back straight. It's Shipley clear then, from Cox in second, these two pulled away from Lodge in third, Baker in four, Smith is in five, and Smith in lap number two, the order is the same, and John Cox is on to the close of the gap, and the moment this time he gets inside Shipley, Shipley again, back there on the outside to retake the leader, right between them, coming into the pitch corner on lap number three. What will Cox try this time? Shipley right in the inside line. Cox is trying to come right round the outside. Shipley trying to push him wide. Shipley leads in the bottom corner. Shipley holding the line. Cox again coming right round the outside. Cox comes alongside him and Cox hits the front. Going up the back straight on lap number four. Cox leads in. Shipley holding that second place position. Lodge in third. Baker is in four. A race for line. John Cox leads in two to two. John Shipley gets the second place. It's going to be tied to third in four. Baker making the move out. Baker gets third. Lodge in four. Smith in five. Snow in sixth place. Then Mulford winds it on round the outside. He was in third, he's up to second. Willem leads him. Mulford's in second still. Trying to get back inside. Mulford gets back inside. Mulford to retake second place. They're going to be three abreast for first place on that pitch corner. As he's still, still in second. Chester is in four. And he's four of stolen them off on the again, still Gwilym has the advantage and Prince still in second, Mulford in third, Chessel back in fourth, they, four bikes between the four of them, they go in the pitch corner once again, this time Gwilym's on wide, Chester still to get Sean inside, but Gwilym again has got the speed, round the outside line, Gwilym leads it, and still in second, Mulford in third, Chester is in four, and still has now gone round the outside of Gwilym to lead, going up the back straight, Gwilym comes back through on the inside, entering that pitch corner once again, it's still round the outside, Willem on the inside, Chessel follows him right on the inside, to third place, super action, they move it on to four then, still the leader, and Willem in second, no foot is in third, Chessel is in four, still concentrating on that top four, as they race halfway up the back straight for the final time, still the leader, Willem in second, there goes Mulford right round the outside, and Chessel's falling in through as well. Willem gets a second, Mulford in third, Chessel in fourth, super action between those four. Then we've got number 11, number 8, and 57. Super action again between that top four in that second qualifying heat. Allen has gone with him, this time Ricky Swab has got the machine sorted out, he's in second place, winds it on round the outside, comes alongside the race leader, as Kinman leads at the back straight the first time, Scarborough's in second, John Cox has now gone through the third, looks like Martin Adams holding that fourth place, Richard Scarborough's gone through the third, Scarborough's in second, Adams in third, Cox in fourth, John is in five, Newsom in sixth, Smith in seven, that's a top seven, they're four abreast for second play, coming up the back straight once again, what a terrific race this is, as Adams is now hit the front, Scarborough again trying to come round the outside, and Jock Cox trying to fall in through the field, it's Adams in the advantage, and Scarborough again round the outside, Cox trying to get inside, gone there, the four abreast again for first place, coming up the back straight, fantastic racing in the heat of the 500, it's still Adams who leads and Scarborough's on his shoulder now, Cox has now gone through into that third place, this is Scarborough winds it on round the outside, comes alongside Adams and finally hits the front as they start the last lap then. Scarborough leads him, but Adams in second, 
Coxon in third, Gom is now dropping back in four, Timmons dropping back in four, Gom's in five, and Cox gets in, so Adams to move through into second place as Scarborough leads on the exit from that pit pool is wide again, the Scarborough wins. Cox gets the second, Adams is in third, Timmon in four, Gom is in five, Newsom in six, Chris Smith is in seven, Guthridge in eighth, Downing in ninth place. again completely missed the start he winded on round the outside up in the second place he goes as Ransom but Beddingfield got back inside him as Ransom leads him and Beddingfield in second Norris again right round the outside Dismore trying to follow him round the outside again as Ransom leads him and Norris in second Beddingfield in third Dismore in fourth Top in five Taylor in six that's the top six Norris again totally committed to the outside he's on the shoulder of Ransom now half of that back straight on lap number two then Ransom still leads, but Norris again, again he goes round the outside of that fifth corner, but Norris is holding back the day on the inside line. Norris the leader, it's Ransom the leader, but Norris in second, Beddingfield third, he's more four, chucking five, Taylor still in six, that's still the top six. Off the back straight they go once again, a leading two starting to pull away from Beddingfield, who's got that third place position, and still Ransom's holding back the challenge of Norris now as they go on the last up the side. Ransom the leader, for Norris in second, Beddingfield third, Dismore four, Chuck definitely getting close in five, looking for fourth place of Charles Dismore now, the leader halfway up the back straight for the final time, is Sam Norris going to be beaten for the first time this afternoon, it looks like Ransom's got his nose in his side, Ransom wins it, Norris gets the second, Beddingfield third, Dismore four, Chuck in five, 13 is in six, Taylor is in seven, Nearly eight snow in ninth place. Traffic is Cooper Rust, he's about 10th place at the moment. As Archie Rolf go group moving around the outside, Molly Bins has already gone around the Ollie Bobbidon's already gone around the outside. Bob Bobbidon leads there. Rolf is in second. Look at Russian coming up, he's picked up five places already. Russian gone through to second place, he's come from 10th to second, he's set about chasing Oliver Bobbin and now as they go up the back straight once again, Bobbin and Leeds and from Russian in second, Rolf is in third, tremendous action for the top three places, Bobbin is still the advantage and Russian is in second. 
Jason closing Bobbenden down now as they go in that the bottom corner once again. It's Bobbenden one in mid back rushing goes to speed round the outside. Two bikes between them and hit the fifth corner once again. Bobbenden holding the inside line rushing again full throttle right round the outside. The Bobbenden just they all the lead on the last stop they go they're together on the last four. Bobbenden on the inside rushing made the move round the outside. Rolf is in third, Bloomfield in fourth, Bins is in five. That's the top five. Absolutely brilliant ride by Cooper Rush. He's come through from 10th place on the first corner and he's going to make his three to three leads this year. Brilliant stuff there from Cooper Rush. And Bobbinen gets his second place this year. in four, Bins is in five, Ed Mundy is in six, followed by 111, 43 and 16. Super action there again in that third leg of the juniors. place. Ben Ball has already worked his way through in the third and look at that second place of Hill as he cleans up the back straight for the first time then. Hill is in second, Ben Ball in third. These two are really getting away from the other three in the race and they go straight to that pitch corner for the first time then. Sullivan is in fourth place. That's the top four. It's still got me. Then with the advantage, and Hill always has second place. Penfold trying to close the gap in third. He's looking for second place of Hill now as they move into that top corner once again. Penfold making the move right round the outside of Hill. Still hanging on. Sullivan is in fourth place. This time Penfold almost through on the inside, but Hill has got the speed back round the outside. Penfold comes again just a bite between second and third as he seems to be dominating the front. Penfold again right round the outside of Hill. He's still locked together for second and third. Second, Penfold is in third, Penfold just that bike down, but can't find a way past at the moment as the leader up the back straight for the final time. That leader is Sam, he's coming into the pitch corner, lap number four. He goes Penfold again right round the outside of that pitch corner. Can he come right round the outside of the hill? He's winning the race for the line to second, Penfold in second, Hill in third, Sullivan in fourth, 27 in fifth place. doing the chasing in second place. Back on the inside, Clark making a move around the outside, but Beck holds him a days ago up the back straight for the first time then. It's Beck who leads from Clark in second. The scoops have gone through into uh, third place position. It's Beck who leads Collins has gone through into third place. Collins has gone through into third place. The 174 holding position number four. That's yours as they go up the back straight once again then. It's still Beck who leads there and Clark really chasing hard there in second place. The Beck comes back all the back to challenge this one and Beck leads them to put him through then. And Clark has got the second. Third, one seven four in four. Rest of them is in five. One four overs in six. That's the top six. Into the pitch corner they go once again and slowly but surely. Maxine Beck is starting to pull away at the front as he loves up right up there. Looking to make it three and three. In the eighth, one through the support class, desperately trying to move the gap in second. Collins and only riding third, followed by one seven four. Rest of them looking to improve upon that fifth place position. We watch the leaders going into that top corner for the all the time, Beck has still got the advantage, he's gone by the race for the line, that takes it three to three. Clark gets the second, Collins is in third.
second place, Hill has got the third, and his chum, he's looking for a, for a four time and he's the left hander, Will Fanfall went really well on that bottom corner and moves back through into second place. If he flees and can Fanfall hold in his second place position, coming to the complete the opening lap, he's the That's a five, they make the way off the back straight once again. Carly Bill is back in sixth place as he flees about two bites from Penfold. Going into the pitch corner once again, the action really on for first place this time. He's holding the inside line. Penfold goes away, comes back, and the inside one is almost alongside his turn again. Once again, he leads in, then Penfold in second, Hill is in third, he's now coming under pressure for that third place position. As he leads coming up that back straight, Penfold trying everything, he's tried inside, he's trying outside, he's trying the outside of that pitch corner once again. He goes on wide to block, he's done Penfold. Inside run on to four they go then. Heath the leader from Penfold in second. Hill has got the third. 27 is in four. That's a top four. One of the crews pulls on the middle of the track up on that pitch corner on lap number three. As they go into that top corner, pitch corner, four the time. And it's Heath on the inside. Penfold trying to come right in the outside. Heath is looking wide. Heath wins it. Penfold gets second. Hill is in third. 27 in 4th place and 67 pushing home for 5th place points. The winner of this race is the winner of the qualifier. That's what I've just been told. The winner of this race is the winner of the qualifier. That's the information we've just received. So on the line then for the last race of the day. And number Crystal has got away. Williams got there with him. Rob Bradley is in third place at the moment, going up the back straight for the first time then. It's still a lead then, but William in second. Bradley is in third. They're three abreast for fourth, fifth and sixth place as they race into that top corner. Once again, William Hall in second place. Bradley is in third. Edley is in four. Collins is in five. They go up the back straight once again. Bradley looking for that second place of Willem and that's allowing still to get away at the front then. Still the leader from Willem in second. Bradley is in third again looking for that second place of Willem. Sorry, Hedling is in fourth place, Collins is in five and looking to move through into fourth. There's two separate races, one for second and third, one for fourth and fifth place. The leader looks set as he about to start his last lap this time. That leader looks good still. Bradley coming right down the edge, Williams in for the second. Williams comes again to the second place. Then Bradley gets back around the end. Sorry, he's back alongside Willem now. Has a bit of a moment there. There's Rob Bradley on that bottom corner. That's allowed Willem to get away in that second place. But still leads into the pitch corner for the final time then it's still the winner for the GT140 race the second and third Willem gets back to the family in third Edlam four Tommy in five followed by 11 number 8 Wilding and that appears to be that On the line then for race number four, another heat of the uprights, up for the tapes. Mike Downing's made a good stop, but Tim Curran, I've got all oh, somebody down in the big way, and the bike is continuing upside down. That is absolutely amazing, still not for that bike, hooking and bronking over there. That is not good at all, it's coming towards the spectators. Oh my word, that is not good news. That is not good news. What on earth happened there? Next 
much wanted to settle. Stacey's down in the middle, then Rob Bradley won from the outside, and Trevor Heath fills the inside grid for Cruz again for this race number 12. <laughs> Bradley just checking with his passenger. Good to see Rob Bradley back racing mode in the GT140 qualifier. Finished third overall yesterday and then back on the big chair again this afternoon, the multi master champion. Up for the team, they're getting the fight in the grip at the start. He has got away, but it's Paul White who's making that two crack of Rob Bradley's last away. Trying to get through in the second place, just ahead of him. It's White number leads him from Bradley in second, Heath in third, Sellers in fourth. He goes just between them as they power down the back straight for the first time then. It's White number leads him, Bradley trying to close the gap in second place. White them goes wide, Bradley hugging the inside, he's closed the gap slightly. On White number they climb the back in fourth, he's second time. On the inside of Viper between them going down the back straight, Bradley comes alongside it. Whitey again back through Bradley again almost back through on the inside. Super action between these two as they go in that bottom corner once again. Whitey and right in mid track, no way through for Rob Bradley on the inside. He's trying to force a way through and Bradley hits the front. Whitey will try and get back round the outside. But Bradley covers the line. Whitey again coming round the outside. Super action between these two as they go down the back straight once again. It's Bradley. Bradley leaves in from Wydlam in second. Now Trevor he's getting the action. Looking for that second place of Paul Wydlam as they climb the bank in for the third time and start the last lap. It's Bradley leaves in from Wydlam in second. He's in third. Sally's got him back in fourth place. Super side collapsing and Paul Wydlam's back at Rob Bradley again now. Going down that back straight for the final time. But this is where Bradley is very quick on this bottom corner. Hugs the corner again. No way through on the inside. Impressive stuff from Rob Bradley gets the winning ride. Paul Wyden gets a second, Trevor Heath is in third, Stacey Sell in fourth place, Super Action there in that third heat of the big chairs and the old maestro showing that he can still do it, he was lost away and battled his way through there for a winning ride. So just waiting for Ricky Scarborough to come into line then to start this uh, set of the second heat of 250 solos and John Shipley to move into his gating position. Scarborough again pulling right back from the grid, he's obviously got a bit of a problem there, right on the outside of the grid, comes back into line again. They're now ready, up for the tapes and Scarborough's made a good stop, looks like Chris still has made an even better one, leads at the back straight for the first time. Scarborough's gone through the second, Benny Smith in third, we're looking for Ace Piper's team working his way to the back, he didn't make the best of Piper's in six at the top six, Scarborough having to go as they go up the back straight once again, still in Scarborough off together for first and second, still on the inside, Scarborough making a move round the outside, but still the bike up, Scarborough again coming right round the outside of that fifth corner, he's alongside, still coming through, it's still a lead, he's going to be in second, Piper's already gone now, through into third place, Scarborough back round the outside, still the take of him, Piper's trying to follow him through, he's in third place and looking for that second place of still, he's going to have a step, go it still, they're going to be three of us, the first place on the exit, from that pitch corner, eight, five, eight, 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 eight,
Phillips, of course, holding the second place when he had machine problems in his first outing. So it should be a competitive race. 14 up for the tape. So where they go, Aiden North has made a good start, but Cameron Taylor has made a better one. Tim Gregg's away as well in second place. Luke Harris hasn't made the best of starts. They go in that top corner for the first time. Well, Harris on the inside and Harris is making a move around the outside. Harris goes, oh, and Taylor drops it in spectacular style there. All the runners do very well. Someone's cracked in his bike. I thought they'd all got past him. They managed to get past him. But somebody cracked in Cameron's bike there. I thought that ball is okay. He's rolling round. It looks like they got by him, all of them. But two runners for the back seem to collect the machine. That throws him off. That was a great shame because there was a cracking race developing there for first and second places. So the so start of the second leg then on the 500 solos. Cracker start and Jake Morford's gone with them together going up that back space. The 05 has gone the action. Baller is in full play. Morford on the inside. Cooper making a move around the outside. Four, Laurie Swanning, my final line round the edge of Piper, is it fast action for the top four places, but Morford's getting away at the front, Piper's got inside Cooper to go through the second place, can Cooper get back round the outside of that fifth corner, Morford's going to second and fourth, he was much too wide up on that fifth corner, but Morford leads it, and Piper's second, in third, Cooper is in four, look at the speed of Jake Morford, the control of Jake Morford, he winds it on again, going in Morford's dropped it all oh, in first, Piper going, Piper did very well indeed to stay on there, he did extremely well in Piper, the yellow flags are out, red flag is out, my word Theo Piper did extremely well to stay on board there because Morford fell in front of him and Piper was really motoring around the outside of that pitch corner and did very well to not go into the room. Already then for the restart, away we go. God makes a good start. Hog makes a good start this time as well. And Godden's got problems. Godden made a good start, but suddenly he's come to a stop. So drama in this rerun. And Starless Lund now goes through into second place. Oh, Hog leads and he's gone into Starless Lund in a big way there. He has gone into Starless Lund in a very big way there as they came away from that. Uh, from that pitch corner, Stonis Lund rolling over and Agony being checked by his passenger there. That was a real hair raising moment there. So just the two of them then for race 35, Will Offen and Trevor Heath, both in the chance of scoring major points of course, but just two in the race. Take club then who's going to get the start, Will Offen's got away but Trevor Heath is trying to get through on the inside and he could be the lead to come by then. Offen is in the and often in second place, two bikes between them, down the back straight they go for the first time then. Just heat the leader, and often in second, often again close the gap they dive down that bottom bank in for the first time. He's put back two bikes behind him, but heat straight into quicker and climbs the bank for once again with a two bike. Then we're often in second place, the gap's in the corner, often trying to find a way through on the inside. 
the Virtue look to get on the exit for that pitch corner. It's easy, three gentlemen off and in second place. What will it be on this bottom oh, corner? Will. Two on is scrapping it out for the lead position. Will often come for the inside to the outside to try and get the driver. That's an outside the heat to pull away on the inside. Oh, oh, it's three oh, gentlemen off and in second place. Oh, going into that bottom corner for the final time. Trevor Heath is holding the line, no way through for Offen. Trevor Heath gets all in line, well Offen in second place, my word, they were very, very, very close on that third lap. Okay, This is the B final for the 500 sidecars. Uh, Revving up, being held a long time away. There you go then. The two's made that stun of got the back straight for the first time. Jake Gerrins took his way through in the second. Looks like Paul White, the moves in field, will get to number with the leading side guy. They come by Looks 
second half is going one burner four. Then it gets uh, Beard gets back to on the inside of slides from the inside of the track to the ace on he's dropped back to fifth place and Paul Wyndham's come from nowhere to go from the service Simon and Beard comes back again. They're four abreast the third place going into that top corner once again. It's Gordon Lee being chased by Goodwin in second place. Look at the stand up Push where he won, he's got the third, but Simon Beard comes again, dig back from there into third place. Paul Wagon trying to squeeze inside him, Hog trying to get round him, three of us again for third place, and Goodwin's hunting down Gordon at the front now as they go into that top corner once again. It's Gordon who leads it, and Goodwin holding second place, Beard has got the third, and here comes you. Beard trying to get back inside Hog and Hughes is trying to get between them. Fantastic action in the final of his 500 cycle. And Hughes is now gone through the fourth and trying to get inside Beard. And he's got inside Beard. He's come through from six to third. What a ride there by young Sean Hughes as he's got it right from there again. This sudden wins it. Just simply gets the second place to third. Hughes gets third. Beard in fourth. Hog in five and Whiteham in sixth place. What a brilliant 500 sidecar final that was. That was absolutely superb. Absolutely superb. Gotten as I thought, an unpredictable afternoon. Got the drop on the final, made it came. Young Sean Hughes was completely left at the start. Last away, battled through for a brilliant third. But the action there between Beard, Hughes, Hogg and Whiteman was absolutely brilliant for third place. Cracking, cracking 500 sidecar final. So show your appreciation to all six of them as they come out on their lap of honour. See here was that to the paramedics please. Oh there we go then with the A final. Paul Cooper makes a start. Can he keep the front wheel down? Yes he can. But he's already lost to lead. They're going into that top corner. Changes into the place and trying to make a move around the edge. in fourth place up the top four they go up the back straight once again by Ned Lee then been changed in second Hurry's in third Cooper Thompson first to four and change is chasing up the vine Ned now they're at that fifth corner once again It's fighting on the inside, James going around the outside. Hurry has got the third, but Cooper in fourth place. Charlie Powell up to five, and James is going around the outside. Biden has the lead going into that fifth corner once again. Can Biden get back to change? He's trying to get back to on the inside. He does get back to on the inside. Change from the game. Back on the inside, fantastic action between these two. It's Change Lee Biden trying to get back to on the inside again. And he does get back to going up that back to once again. It's Biden and Lee Jenkins Change holding their second place position. Change again, trying to come back to the right in now. Biden wins it. Change gets the second. Hurry is in third. Cooper is in fourth. Seven, eight, eight, eight. And Bowen in ninth place, Mears in ten. What a brilliant final that was between James Shanes and Zach Viking and they passed and repassed so many times at unbelievable speed. It looked if James had got by Bot Viking, it wouldn't come back, but he did come back. Absolutely brilliant action there in the 500 solo eight final. Fantastic. High speed passing and repassing between Zach Viking at the winner there and James Shanes. And we have not got Tim Mount number 17, of course, in this one, but we've got some very quick riders, Rodney McDonald, Bob Dorman and Jason Prim, all coming together here, Chris Muckett as well. The way they go, it is an even start, it looks like Rodney McDonald, he leads, Nigel Coates is trying to into that third, Jason Prim and Bob Dorman are going to either side of him for that second place, as close as they go into the turn, Rodney McDonald leads Bob Dorman and there's the exit, that top corner. Jason wins in that third place, Nigel Coates still in fourth with Chris Mackett all over the back of him. And it's close between McDonald and Damon at the front. So Rodney McDonald is choosing a much tighter line with Bob Damon. Damon's gone round the outside, Rodney McDonald's covered a lot less ground on the inside, but Damon's a lot faster there, it's locked together. As they come past us, Bob Damon is trying to lean across Rodney McDonald. But McDonald's is much quicker into the turn. Diamond's gone wide when Skinner's close between these two as they go down the back street. They're absolutely neck and neck still. As they go into the turn, Bob Diamond's going to drift wide again here. Bob Diamond's going to try and cut up the inside. It's very close between these two. They've only got one more lap to sort it out. Bob Diamond now knows his head. Bob Diamond, what can he do here? He's now in second place. He's got to try and look at where Bob Diamond's riding and work out where he's going to go for it. He's got the inside, but Diamond's much more quick into the turn.
third. The people have already had four leaders already. Michael Phillips switches across the front of Danny Hill, who has to react very, very quickly to him in that third place. But Josh Penfold and Dan Woodbridge are on the... Danny Hill's gone right over. It has been collected by Jay Sullivan. It looks like all four riders are up, but the red flags are out. Red flags are out, so a very competitive looking left-hand sidecar race ending there with disaster. Glad to see all four are up. So here we go with this race 24. Tape set is a really rugged start. A couple of riders not even leaving the line. It's Jordan Smith that's made a flying start as they go into this turn. In that second place, Sean Heathcote's mark. James Hoggy catches up with Jordan Smith who's spun the machine round and comes off. It is going very slippery down there. We'll just wait and see if he gets back on the machine. And at the moment he's not on the machine. Sean Hughes has now come to a grinding halt in the middle of the pit corner. And now we've got a red flag, so now the race will be stopped. So interested to see what gates they've all chosen. Neil Owen right on the inside. He's had a few problems on the starts, of course, Neil Owen. So he's gone right on the inside. Michael Austin next to him. Nick Stace in that gate number three. Matt Fumano has gone in gate four. We're up from gate five. And Cliff Lundell's gone right on the outside. That was what he was left. So here we go with this very important lead final.
Norse trying to work a way to get through into that fourth place position as leader up the back straight for the for all the time there. Two and three abreast there for the minor place. And again, they all struggle coming out of that bottom corner. But it's Martin Cuff completely selling up this heat and on the uh, left handers. Comes out of that top corner. Martin Cuff and over the Hills are going to come across the line in second. Three abreast there for that third place position. Real. Green flag raised, you're revving up. Away we go then. Ollie Bins has got away, but Archie Rob has made a flyer again. Thomas Benin's a one. Archie Rolf has come to a stop. He made a flyer, but he's suddenly come to a stop and he's just about got it going again. So this could be interesting. He's back in seventh place at the moment. How, how far can he work his way to the back? inside again to lead going up that back straight once again super action between these two it's spinning and bins are up first and second Rolf has got back through the third already as they come to complete lap number two they're spinning on the inside bins making the move around the outside right trying to get to the inside of Rolf just goes through on the inside he's hit the front he's turned it on a six foot there and heads on to second place as bins leads coming up the back straight once again Rolf has got inside him superb right there by Archie Rolf he's come through from sixth place to third and two and a quarter up and he leads him off the last of this time there's the leader the Bins in second Vinning is in third Bobbington is in fourth Leobold is in five up the back straight they go 44 down the last year all this storming away the front in fact he's going to be up in the back mark as he goes into that top corner for the final time through on the inside of the back mark a tremendous ride there by our two goals the tip to first he wins the Bins comes across the line in second Benning is in third, Bobbington in four, Theobald in five, Amos in six, Wyndham in seventh place. Sort of print leads by a bike from Kurnock on second go in that top corner on the opening lap. The three abreast for third place at the moment. And it's print leads there. Kurnock holding second boots and goes on to the third. Top is in five. Dusdale is in six. Coley in seven. That's a seven. As they go up the back straight once again. Jason print about three bikes up on Tim Kurnock. Kurnock throws it into that top corner trying to close the gap on print. They're really motoring down the first and second place. It's the pit's corner once again, they're both taking more or less the same line, both hooking the inside line. But he's ready for Kurnock making his move, now he's only a point there. As he goes into that top corner once again, this work Kurnock is just a little bit quicker, but the gap hasn't closed between the two of them. As he lost that front, comes out there, but he's Kurnock in second. Kurnock again trying to get through on the inside, but Prince not leaving a gap on the inside. Kurnock's got to go right round the outside if he wants a victory. Racing up the back straight, 40 followers on the back mark, and he's coming to play on that final corner. But on the inside, Kurnock making his move round the outside, comes alongside Prince. Who wins it? Kurnock gets the second. Third will be John Weeks. Good action there, and that second heat on the upright solo. Weeks comes across the line in third, Tuck is in four, Russell in five, Dugdale in sixth place. Where we go then, we're at the start of the left hand side cars, once again the hills have got away. And uh, Martin Cup had made the best of start, he worked his way through in the third place, it could be interesting on that top corner. Penfold is in fourth place. 
It's Heath again who has the advantage. Heath has the advantage at the hills and in the chase in second place. Marty comes in third to Rodney within the first in left hand is Lee just one as well. Hills chasing hard in second place. Come for an improvement upon that third place. Penfold is in four going up the back straight. They're going to bunch up. The Virtue going to be three abreast going into that top corner for the first place. Bishop Cuff making his move around the outside but Hills have blocked that move around the outside. It's Heath holding the inside line. Hill again trying to come right around the outside. Cuff looking the line. They're locked together for second and third place and as Heath has the advantage going in that pitch corner once again. Cuff has got through on the inside of Hill and trying to get around Heath again. Going up the back straight once again. Heath still leads it. Cuff has got the second. Hill is relegated now to third. Penfold spins it round while holding the fourth place position. At that top corner once again on lap number three. It's still Hill as the advantage. It's still Martin Cuff again looking for the gap on the inside. There is the gap at the moment. Heath has the advantage. So Cuff goes to the outside of the pitch corner. Heath on the inside. Cuff trying to come around the outside. Hill's back in third place. And Cuff has got the drive. He's just about coming alongside Heath. But Heath comes again. Cuff had a bit of a moment on the exit from that pitch corner. And that's allowed Heath to get away at the front then. As Heath leads it. Then Cuff holding second place. Hill have got the third, so it looks like Rob Heath's going to make it two to two in the heats of the left handers. Rob Heath gets it when it's right. Is in second, Hills are in third. trying to start and see the red flag in the pit box we're up to the red flag's gone down so he's not going to start but this one so we've got uh, four left handers on the line do our best to pick them out there we go then we have the heat of the left handers and they go up the back straight for the uh, first time we've got a bit of a flood in the box at the moment so uh, as they race into that uh, top corner for the first time. Let's see if we can get those numbers they come by. It is Heath again who has the advantage of Heath. Uh, has got the second. Martin Cup is in third place. Booth is in fourth place. That's the four of them as they go up the back straight once again then. It is Rob Heath and Carl Fish totally unbeaten all the afternoon who lead this heat of the uh, left hand side cars. And uh, Cuff has murked his way through to go through into that uh, second place position in difficult pass, any difficult conditions for Rob Heath again. Looking at the second place position, Penfold is in third with Booth in fourth place. They make their way up the back straight once again then. It is still uh, Heath who leads then, but Cuff's definitely getting closer in second place. Could be an interesting last corner because Martin Cuff has definitely closed the gap. Just a couple of bikes between. In fact, it's the third lap, not the last lap. So Heath is up in the line. If Cuff wants to pick, he's got to go round the outside. And Heath is up in the gap. Back round the outside as he got the pitch corner once again. Heath on the inside. Cuff going round the outside. And Cuff has gone round the outside. Can he come back again? No, he can't. That's a clever ride there by Martin Cuff. He's picked his way right round the outside. And Rob Heath is being led for the first time this afternoon. Super left hand in action in difficult conditions. They race into the top corner for the final time. Check it flat comes out. Plenty of Penfold is in third. I know what the hold of is there, the game for quite a time. Where they go this time, they've got away this time then. I think the Hills have got away in second place. And I can see that um, North is in th is in third place. They've now dropped back to fourth, and they're all working all together. They're all oh, one is turned completely round on the top corner. One at the back is collected in. So drive on that top corner first time out, and it brings in number 16. Morris has been. Penfold has got the leads they come by for the first time then. It's uh, North who's gone through into that second place. 67 is in third. So it was number four is in fourth. So the hills, look at the hills that come out for this particular heat as they race up the back straight once again then. North trying to close the gap on the race leader. That race leader is uh, still number 16 at the moment. 16 it is, just Penfold who leads in, and uh, 
Josh Penfold are leads for North in second place position. Having got 67 Sullivan in third. With number four Morris in fourth place. And pretty well spread out now. The leading two are having to go. And, and looks if uh, North has hit the front there. But he's lost that lead again as, they, as the leader comes back through on the inside. Penfold again gets back through on the inside of that uh, top corner. Last that flag comes out. And Get inside him, they're absolutely locked together. Norse on the inside, Penfold round the outside, so they're still locked together. And it's Heath who's gone, to, it's uh, North who's gone through on the inside. And they're relegated to second. Sullivan is in third. Morris in fourth. They go into that top corner for the final time as a race leader. And it's North who's got the advantage then from Penfold holding that second place position. Coming up that top corner, eventually the best Yes, Penfold gets second. We're waiting for the next three across the line, which should be number six, 67. Some of the next across the line with Morris in four. Race 37 is next. The uh, fourth leg of the youth juniors and cracking racing in this one you have seen conditions have totally changed since the last time the youngsters were out away they go and Archie Rolf again has made the best of start but he's already gone through on the inside Thomas Finning has gone with him as well Ollie Bin did make the best start he's won at three rides who were three abreast for third place they head to that top corner for the first time and it's Rolf for That pitch corner and Bins has gone round there to Vinning to go through in the second place as Rolf leads it but Bins in second Vinning is in third place a three and rest for fourth place as well as they go up the back straight Bins slowed up momentarily Vinning has gone back through on the inside to retake that second place position as Rolf is a clear leader but Vinning holding second place again Bins want to make a move around the outside two for action Five, right within six. Going into that top pit, top corner once again. It's Archie Rolf really stretching away the front. Last lap five comes out for your Archie clear at the front. Still that super scrap for second and third. Then he's on the inside. And has gone right round the outside and moved through the second place. You watch him into the pit score. If he can get back through the second. And he gets it goes back round the outside. They go up the back straight for the full on time. Archie roll from that top corner for the full on time. He goes in forward and third, which is super action. Binning gets back inside. Bins again upon that to top corner. Bins again trying to come back round the edge. Binning goes for the line. Binning gets second. Bins is in third. Cracking action between those two for second and third places. the track for this GT 140 final. Away they go. Start could be crucial. Smith made a good start. Beck's got away in second place. Biss Smith the leads on the back straight the first time. Beck is in second making a move and looks like Sco Scoops is diving through on the inside to go through in the third place. Biss Smith the leads and they come by and fall in the third line. Scopes is in five. Clark is way back in position number six. And back again trying to find a way through as they go up the back straight once again. But back has gone really wide on that front pits corner and has dropped back to fifth place. So an awful lot to do for Maxine back in this GT 140 final. And they come by and complete that one. It's really soon. Smith holding second. Back is back up to third place. Willem is in four. Scopes is in five. They go the back straight once again is still Brawler as the leader with Smith holding that second place position Beck desperately trying to close the gap in third after making a mistake on that pitch corner on lap number one the last up flag comes out then Brawler has cleared the moment then Smith holding second and Smith holding close in third and they're going to punch up the first second and third place is going in the pitch corner for the final time it's Brawler so they're going to reach back round the edge of that 
Jack is back again, trying to hunt down the top two coming into the top corner for the four time back markers very much going to come into play here. This could make an interesting with back marker coming off this final corner. A race to the line in order to get to back to the second. This is third. One of the four goes in five. Clark in six. Classic in seven. Machine we saw today, we should have the six crews in for what could be an interesting final. We've had some interesting racing with the left hand this afternoon. Away they go, they've all got away, looks like uh, Rob Heath has made the start to me. And who's that gone with him? It could be Martin Cup. No, Martin Cup has completely missed the start. He's lost away, he's starting to work his way to the back. He's up to fourth place at the moment, but it's Rob Heath, he's gone really wide. He's got it, he's in trouble there. Here's Rob Heath. To front. What a brilliant ride there by Martin Cuff. He was in sixth place. He's now at the front. Rob Heath has worked his way back through to go through into second place. Looks like Penfold in third and north are trying to work their way through as well. Real sorted on a pitch corner on lap number one. But it's Martin Cuff who's well cleared the front beneath, holding that second place position. North have got the third. Cuff is the leader, but he's holding the second place. North. Penfold is in four, Penfold is in five, Morris in six, up to six, but they're going to be five abreast for second place on the exit for that corner, up the bank they try to go, and it looks as if North's gone inside to Heath, Heath again back round the outside to retake that second place, as Martin Cuff is getting away at the front then, he's totally in control with his left hand side, on the last lap, Heath is now moving back through in the second place, Morris now relegated to third, Morris is up to third, they're going to be three of us for second play, all taking different lines on that pitch corner. It's Rob Heath just hanging on to that second. The farther he goes, the farther Martin Cuff's going to get away. They're three of us for third play, coming up the back straight for the final time. Terrific left hand action as Martin Cuff and Andrew picks up the winning line. Rob Heath is going to pick up that second place. It's all on for the third place this year. And Ford has gone for the third. Morris in four. North in five, Penfold in six, cracking, cracking, left hand side car. What a brilliant ride there by, um, brilliant ride there by Martin Cuff. He was lost away, he was in fifth place coming up that back straight. He worked his way through on the inside, went through the second as they completed that lap and raced away to win a superb left hand side car final. So show your appreciation, they produced some. Cracking race of the left-handers this afternoon. Good to see so many of them here.